Hello YouTube, Total Ravenclaw here, and today we're going to be working on a sword sheath shield, which is basically just a shield that acts as a sheath for a secondary weapon. Uh, this is my secondary weapon, that uh, just a pl very plain sword, but basically what you want to, to start, you're I'm gonna take your sword and measure the blade and how thickness and how thick it is and how thick the blade is. And then you're gonna cut a notch out of uh, a piece like this. Just a any piece of cardboard will do, just so you know what size that notch needs to be. Then you need to cut a piece actually kind of like this that has an arc that's flat and has an arc on it. That way it will fit to your shield. And then you need to cut a shield that's about um, as tall as the ground up to your waist and is and a little bit wider than your waist. It's a good size shield uh, for like a Roman size shield, and that's what I'm doing. So this is the piece I have. But basically what you want to do next is to glue these pieces inside the shield like this. Only, only some of them have to have this notch in them, because oh shit, because the sword doesn't go all the way in. Like, see, it doesn't touch. Yeah. But once you have that done, you're pretty much almost done. Then you just have to build the part for your arm to actually carry the shield. And one of the things is the sword is gonna go. Uh, behind your arm, like this, your arm's gonna be in front. So one of the things you want to do is to build a piece that goes over here as like a spacer, and for and you can use anything you want for that. But well, another important thing is to uh, make sure these pieces are very strong because they're gonna take in a lot of force from just the entire shield. So especially this especially this top one. So if you want to glue double, that's a good idea. But I'll let I'll cut out I'll go cut out the shape we need for the brace here. There, I got the brace piece and it looks like this. And the sword is now quite snug when it comes in and out. And also it has a nice shield. That way you can fit your arm on it. And without, you can pull it out easy. Uh, so now that we got that, I'm going to use some nice cereal box cardboard for the strap, for the parts to hold on to. And I'm, this is just a nice smaller box. I'm going to take these side panels and cut them off. And they should be just the right thickness for a good size strap. And <clears throat> yeah. And uh, also, if you want with these straps, you can cut like designs onto them, or you can make them really. Th you can make them thin or thick. It just depends on your personal, or just whatever you want. I have pretty small hands, so. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna make one of them a bit smaller for my the hand. That's another thing. Uh, the one that goes over the bottom of your wrist can be pretty big. But the one you're gonna grab onto should be smaller and and should have a bit cut out of it so you can grab it normally. And if you want, you can also make this one out of a different cardboard. That way, it's stronger. But Basically, it's just a piece like this that you grab and just fold it around your hand and cut it down until you get to a good thickness. And also, if you want to cut out like finger holes or anything fancy like that, I, you do that now. So, this is feeling kind of good, but my palm is hitting up against this piece, so I'm going to cut out a bit. From there, just to make it easier to grab. You don't have to do, make it this thin on the whole piece, just on the part that's being grabbed. 
and you can do it on both ends so up here and down here and that will just give you a good surface to grab onto so now if we try one more time and you want this piece to be about roughly the size of your wrist uh, you want it to be snug but not too tight like if you make a fist and it will fit with your knuckles that's about good um, but if it won't fit a if you can't get it off without releasing it or some tension then it's too tight so once you have what you want make a line where you intend to glue and just make sure you know, do some tests and then glue it in place make sure you use plenty of glue on this piece because this has to be a, a moderately sh ow <laughs> ow it makes sure not to burn yourself that will really hurt especially if you get the especially if you try and rip the glue off before it dries that will uh if you that that will just rip off your skin and it will hurt way more if you need to get braced or pieces of cardboard to hold a hot piece it was too hot for your fingers and but also another technique is just to not let the glue go and get that hot so there I have this nice piece that fits my both and test it on both hands before you glue it to make sure if you have to use it with a different hand see well, my hands are slight my right hand is slightly a different I think it's a slightly bigger for some reason or it feels tighter uh, there so next you want to figure out where on your shield these grips are going to be so I'm gonna be holding this probably with my left hand because I'm a right-handed sword fighter so like just figure out like uh, where you what height you want this at uh, if you don't really fight a grip so like if you want to be able to block your feet better, you want this piece up higher. But if you want to block your head, you want this down lower. Um, I'm more of a very, I'm a very defensive fighter, so I like. To, so I'm probably gonna put this higher. But if you're if you don't really know if this is just for like cosplay, then I would suggest just putting it in the middle. But find a good place and glue it and glue it down. Uh, make sure to account for the brace piece. Like, remember, your hand will be going over that, and that might, uh, be uncomfortable if you don't do this a certain way. But there we have... And make sure you brace this piece or with a lot of glue and some bracings, because that... I've made shields before, and this piece wants to come off like crazy. So, if you need... A, a lot of glue, some braces, whatever you can put, whatever you need to put on here so that it will work. It's like in the heat of battle, this piece is generally the one that falls off a lot. You can, if you want to brace it, you can take a piece of a, a strip of cardboard and just glue it over the top of your whole piece, like. If you like uh, this, just go over it. That will help keep this place in piece. I mean, this piece in place. But if your piece is really strong, uh, then you might not need to do anything. Just this is just if your piece is like breaking. I know because a lot of my pieces don't often work, and that's why I'm doing all the support. But you don't have to, if, especially if it's for cosplay, then it's not very likely to break. That that's re this is really um, it might be considered overkill if you're just doing like cosplay. But if you intend to do like some kind of if you're like shooting a movie or you're doing a play, and any any time you're you're gonna actually be doing some action with it. Uh, make sure to support this piece as much as you have cardboard for. And then once you're done with this piece, you can move on to the piece you slip your arm through. 
which is going to want to be on the brace or a little before, probably on the brace. That piece should be in the middle, should be a little bit across the middle from the, from this piece that you grab. Otherwise, it's going to be in the wrong place to work effectively. Or not, another guide is if you're holding this with your hand, the piece should should not be above your elbow because that way you can bend the shield with with your arm or as like a part of your arm. Whereas if it's your whole arm, it's harder to use. So there, and I'll leave that to dry. Make sure it dries good and straight. But then you can take your other piece for your arm and measure that. Make sure to make this one uh, a bit larger than you need to as well. Even larger than the other one because this piece doesn't really need to be tight. It's just to hold your arm in place. So then once you know where you're going to glue the piece, uh, put as much glue as you can in that area. And then this piece again should be really thick. I'm going to show you. It should fit up your arm. And it should come to about here, not past your elbow. Anywhere on your upper arm is pointless. That will ruin your shield. And so I'm just going to measure a bit. If I put the shield like this, I'm going to slip this piece over my arm. And I'm going to hold this and see. See, I think this would be good on the brace. So I'm going to glue it in there. And this piece doesn't need as much support. It won't come out as often. Especially because it's just a strong, it's a stronger piece and it's bigger. There's more surface area touching the ground or the piece you're doing. And then there. And once you glue this piece in place, you're pretty much done. If you want, you can do all kinds of decoration. Oh, and you can do whatever you want. But there, this is my pretty much finished shield. I'm not. I am gonna. You can do some decoration up here if you want, but I'm not. But that's entirely up to you. Also, make sure you do this piece going sideways so you can stick your arm through. If you do it, if you twist it the wrong way, then you will have to put your arm like this, and that will be ridiculously uncomfortable and will not work. Oh, there. And make sure your sword still comes out well. Um. Yeah. This is my shield sheath for my sword. Uh, you, if you have any ideas for other projects, please leave that in the title section below. Total Ravenclaw, signing off.